So as discussed, let's see area of some of the popular figure. So area of right triangle is something which we already know, right? So if this is a right triangle, let's suppose this is a right triangle. Let me name it ABC is a right triangle. And if we know the height of the right triangle, and if we know the base of the right triangle. So we know that in this case, the area of, of uh, the right triangle is nothing but 1 by 2 into base into height. So if you want to write a general formula, and uh, let's suppose uh, the base is B, so it will be 1 by 2 into B and height is H, 1 by 2 into B into H. And let's suppose if the height is let's suppose 6 cm and the base is let's suppose 5 cm. Right? So the area in this case will be 1 by 2 into B that is 6 cm. So 6 cm into 5 cm and that is nothing but 6 into 5, 30 divided by 2 that is 15 cm square. So if you see area is nothing but a number with a unit. Correct. So this is something we already know, area of right triangle. Area of equilateral triangle, something which you can actually find out how. We can actually break this uh, equilateral triangle into two right triangles. For example, if ABC was uh, you know, my equilateral triangle, I could actually break this into two uh, equilateral, two right triangles. What I will do is, from point A, I have to draw a perpendicular, right, and this will hit this line BC at point B. Now you see, if you have to find the area of this triangle, this will be equal to the area of this triangle, correct? And this actually, if you see, if you, you can actually prove by congruency that triangle ABD and triangle ACD will be congruent. Why? These angles will be equal, this side will be equal, this side will be equal, common side. So they are equal, you can prove by congruency. Okay. So if you can find the area of one triangle, let's suppose the area of a. So you can say that area of triangle ABC is nothing but twice area of triangle ADC. Correct? So let's find the area of this triangle. So let's take the example where the side was 10. Side was 10. All the sides were 10 centimeters. Okay, so now in this case also, this will be 10 centimeter. This will be 10 centimeter. So DC will be half of 10 because it actually divides into two parts. This will be 5 centimeter. So if this is 5, this is 10, we can actually find AD. AD is what? Root of AC square minus DC square, Pythagoras theorem. Right? AD is nothing but root of AC square minus DC square, Pythagoras theorem. It's a Put the values here 10 square minus 5 square and if you put the values this comes out to be 100 minus 25 which is root of 75 that is 5 root 3. So you got the value of AD as 5 root 3. Now we can actually apply uh, the formula of area of right triangle is nothing but 1 by 2 into base into height. What is the value of base? 5. 1 by 2 into 5 into height. That is AD. AD is nothing but 5 root 3. And this triangle is for ADC. ADC triangle, right? So this comes out to be 5 by 2, 5 root 3. So area of now, we'll use the formula area of triangle ABC is nothing but twice of area of ADC and area of ADC can come, came out to be 5 by 2 into 5 root 3. This cancel. So what you get is 25 root 3. Since it was in centimeter, it will be centimeter square. So if you want, you can put the unit everywhere. Okay. So what we have seen is using the area of right triangle, we could actually find the area of equilateral triangle. Now let's find the area of isosceles triangle using the same logic. So let's suppose this ABC is isosceles triangle and we want to find the area of this. We can use the same logic here. We can break this isosceles triangle into two parts. We could actually break because since it was isosceles triangle, and if you break it, it will be a congruent 
it will be a set of congruent triangles right so area of abd will be equal to area of adc and overall area of triangle abc will be nothing but twice of area of triangle abc correct now and this you can actually prove using congruency you can prove that area of triangle adc is, or triangle adc is congruent to triangle acd so same logic so uh, let's suppose here this side was 5 this side was 5 and this side was 8 so you in this case this will be 4 this will be 4 correct okay. this will be 5 this will be 5 now you have to find the value of ad same logic we will do Pythagoras from AD is nothing but root of AC square minus DC square. That is nothing but root of 5 square minus 4 square. When you solve it, then you get uh, 25 minus 16, that is root of 9, that is 3. So this value is 3. So once you have this value, I can easily find area of triangle ADC is nothing but 1 by 2 into base into height. And what is the value of base? Base is 4 here. And height is what? 3. It cancels. What you get is 6 in Kilometer square. Correct. So I have to find area of triangle ABC. That will be nothing but twice of area of triangle ADC. And that is nothing but 2 into 6 centimeter square. That is nothing but 12 centimeter square. So we could actually find the area of isosceles triangle also using 1 by 2 into B into H. So now let's see how to find area of any triangle. To do that, we need Heron's formula. For example, if this is a triangle, and we just have the sides given. For example, if the triangle is uh, let's say PQR, and the sides are A, B, and C, right? So we just know the side length. We don't know height. So then we can use Heron's formula to find the area of triangle. This is applicable for any triangle. Any triangle you can apply this formula and get the area. And the proof of this formula is not in our syllabus as of now, but that if you want, you can refer this book by Triga. Here he has described the proof for Heron's formula. Right? So, for example, if you take a scalene triangle, this is a scalene triangle where all the sides are different, you don't know the height of the triangle. So, we can actually calculate the area of this. And typically this is used, for example, if you have a triangular park or triangular plot, you want to find the area. So there you don't know how to find the height, but you can actually measure the edges, the boundary of the plot. And then you can apply the Reynolds formula. So as I told, the area of triangle by Reynolds formula is nothing but S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, root of, where A, B, C are sides and S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2, also called semi perimeter. Okay. So, for example, if uh, let's suppose I have a triangle where one side is 40 meter, other side is 24 meter, and third side is 32 meter. So, in this case, first I have to find S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2, that is 40 plus 24 plus 32 by 2 meter and that is nothing but 48 meter. So once I have the S, I can easily find area is nothing but root of S that is 48 into S minus A that is 48 minus 40 into S minus B that is 48 minus 24 into S minus C that is 48 minus 30. And this will be meter square. So you saw this, this becomes root of 48 into 48 minus 40 is 8, 48 minus 24 is 24, 48 minus 32 is 16. And this is meter square. And this is nothing but 384 meter square. Correct? So you find the area of this triangle by any method, you will get this answer. Even if you, for example, somehow draw perpendicular line here and get the height and then you find the area you get the same answer correct so that is the power of Heron's formula 
you can find the area of any triangle any triangle any kind of triangle given you know the measurement of all the three sides okay let's take some examples uh, on theron's formula you to find again the area of a triangle whose two sides are given in the perimeter it's given so let's suppose my tri triangle is abc two sides are given let this be a let this be 11 cm perimeter is 32 so perimeter is what sum of all the sides that is 32 two sides are given so let's suppose a is 8 B is eleven and C is something we don't know. So with that we can easily find C to be thirty-two minus eight plus eleven is nineteen and you solve this you get thirteen centimeters. So the third side is thirteen centimeters. So now we have to find area of a triangle where all the sides are given. So we can easily find S that is semi-perimeter A plus B plus C by two. Let's add. Eight plus eleven plus thirteen by two centimeter. You solve this, you get thirty-two by two centimeter. That is sixteen centimeter. So you got the value of S. So you have to find the area of triangle ABC is nothing but root of S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, and this will be centimeter square. Put the values here. 16 as a 16 into 16 minus 8 into 16 minus 11 into 16 minus 13 and that is centimeter square. So all this this becomes 16 into 16 minus 8 is 8, 16 minus 11 is 5, 16 minus 13 is 3 centimeter square. You solve this, you get 8 root 30 centimeter square. And that is the answer. Pretty easy. See, the intent is to find the dimension. So, if you have the dimension, you try to just apply the formula. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.